Is that brother the biggest siscon that we've seen in anime? And no, probably not. We've seen way worse. And in the pictures, yes, I baited with the title saying he took loot. It's not really. Basically, he's super obsessive about his sister because he messed up in the past and she got hurt. There was some stress, some kind of traumatic event led to her cool and a white hair strip, right? So ever since that, she's super possessive, but he's super possessive and he's super protective. But there's a rule. You cannot touch people within the same family. Well, you can. Not like that. Not like that, but like, you can't kill them, right? So our main character pretty much gets married in to the Yozakura family. And now we're just like a family of spies doing cool things. There's some beautiful character, you know, uh, designs. They have all their unique powers. But I'm trying to think, like, who is the ultimate antagonist? Is the story basically us trying to get the blessings and approval of Big Bro? Or is there something more to it? Let's begin today's reaction. That ring. Marriage ring. How old are they again? They're like 14 or some shit? <laughs> Big bro. <laughs> my daughter, sorry, my sister is married. Honestly, if you're like an obsessive big bro and your little sister got a boyfriend, you might like if you're an obsessive, that that, that you, you might be mad. But if she straight up got married, I think this is a reasonable reaction. <laughs> And that twin tail lolly is the oldest sibling, I think? Or something like that? Second oldest? Ooh. Good morning, brother in law! Oh, <laughs> これか。いや、ナイス。これは夜桜伝統のモーニング。キャッキャ。何を言っているんだ。これも訓練の一環だっけ。うさんさか。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス。ナイス
to be have like superhuman abilities. Yo, her hair is Mutsumi's hair, but opposite color. Because the predominantly white section is predominantly blue, and the strip of blue is a strip of white. Oh. The head is always ordinary without superhuman powers, but they would be the one to assume the power? This is interesting. The head always has no superhuman powers. Okay. Talents that skip a generation. Interesting. I wonder if she really doesn't have any powers or later it's gonna be like revealed that she actually does. I don't know. Why would the head not have the power? Could it be something like the head doesn't have the power because all the power was distributed to the family members that should have the power? That's why they need to be protected? I don't fucking know. But the hair seems important. Her own life. Without being burdened, the Yozakura family rules? <laughs> underworld debut. So, okay, there's underworld, there's different families. These spy families are competition. They want to kill Mutsumi because she's the head, get rid of the competition. I think that's what's going on. Ordinary world, underworld. <laughs> Jealous. Okay. Right behind us. Huh? Here we go. We're getting targeted again. Just an average day. That's a normal day in Japan. CGI car chase. Let's go. Just telling the driver to go faster. He looks like military personnel. Look at that dude. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's fucking Drift King. Goria is the driver. Which one is that? The cat! The one that's driving this limousine is called Goli Goliath? Because Goli Goliath is supposed to be a fucking huge thing, you know? In like biblical story, there's like the story of Goliath versus something. Anyway, there's a big. The cat? Maybe the cat gets big. The cat's the one driving? Jesus fucking Christ! That's a dog? You can't tell me that's a what do you I Come on, it looks like a cat to me. You think wait wait, wait it, it's a, I I believe you that it is a dog, but wait, could you blame me? Look at this. This shit looks like a cat. You tell me this is a dog? Shit looks like a fucking cat! What do you wait wait? Oh no, his tea is spilling! John Smith! Oh shit, it's John Smith moment, dude! I love this shit. People with this kind of power where they just fucking go... <laughs> and then the string just fucking does everything. Yeah, easy, easy. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Strong cleave! <laughs> Average day in Japan, by the way. We need to get strong then. But Tayo was not born into the family with the extreme genetics. Tayo is seemingly just another regular human being. But there's gotta be a twist. How is he going to be able to compete with the other members of this family to protect Mutsumi? What is his thing? He was cool last episode, you know, gripping the fucking strings, cutting his fucking hands to see the ring, right? There's got to be something special about this kid, but we don't know yet. What is he good at? He's got that heart. He's got the determination, but like skill-wise. Just going to shoot a gun? <laughs> okay, just, just bro's just going to fucking shoot a gun and just do that? All right, all right. First mission. Approve yourself as a spy member by executing somebody. Oh, we're doing personal bodyguard duty today. Okay. Bro's specialty is using a gun? <laughs> 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 
girl one in brackets. Oh, Ohio Mutsumi. <laughs> they don't even have names. <laughs> girl, two, girl three incoming. Girl three incoming. <laughs> now, is this superhuman speed or is this just like funny moments of Tayo like checking stuff fast for Mutsumi's protection? Is it just a goofy moment or mm, mm, I don't know. Is he faster than Lightspeed Masayuki from Tensura? I don't know. I felt like that's more of just like slice of life, you know, gags, bro just moving fucking Blitzkrieg fast. Yeah, we got married. Oh, these are the friends that always uh, invites us for group hangout, right? Bro's growling. He's actually growling! What the, why are you about a kid? You're, you're a 14 year old kid. Take a fucking gun. Even if you kill somebody. Nah, we'll just sweep it under the rug for you. It's alright. Oh, come on. That's a little killing. That's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy, dude. Poison your bomb sounds worse than guns now. Okay. He's actually, Big Bro's actually going easy on us, actually. Who's the target? Bomber Batson. His professional email is bombbomb at gmail.com. His profile picture is a bomb. And his banner picture is a fucking wasp with a bomb. Gee, I wonder what his thing is. Could he potentially use bombs? Maybe. May I can't tell just yet. Let him cook. <laughs> I've called on him myself too, so he worked with them before. His bombs are legit, alright, okay. Highest bidder. Wait, this is that fucking meme. What do you mean? Why, 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 why can't we trust other pe even us? We would be deceiving ourselves sometimes? I don't know. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Terminally online Twitter. Look at the engagements on this. No likes, no replies. 54 fucking impressions. Bomber bats and bro. You, bro, stop tweeting, bro. Make better content, bro. What are you doing? He just leaks himself? We should bait him on Twitter. <laughs> Specialty bomb. Oh, he publicly announced this. I'm surprised that he's willing to, you know, leave this dangerous job to Tayo. Mutsumi is everything to him, but he's willing to let Tayo do this. Like, that pretty much shows just trust in Tayo, or it's that whatever he has to do is even more threatening to Mutsumi. I already regret that, big bro. Yo, what if it's girl one and girl two that has the bombs? Two bombs. Also, there's a fucking drone outside. What the fuck? There's a fucking pink drone outside of the window right now. What the fuck? Second bomb is imp- Why would you public announce this? <laughs> he just- <laughs> I guess he has fun. It's, it's not fun if people don't know. You know, you gotta try to like defuse it. Maybe he enjoys the thrill of the game. It's like, all right, second bomb's there. Better go try to find it. It's like a little Easter egg. He enjoys this. Okay, come on. I was gonna be like, is the bomber actually one of the students? But like, bro, if you're gonna show this dude, it's him. That's not a high school student, it's a big ass student in a fucking trench coat! Maybe we're getting baited. Maybe that's not him. Maybe it's girl one. Girl one and girl two? One of them. Girl. <laughs> nurse? School nurse? <laughs> Wood. Oh! Fang! School nurse, maybe? Has Fang? That's reserved for lollies usually. What the fuck? Is that the bomb? Is that the bomb person? The nurse is out today. But. I, I, my assumption is that's a nurse because she looks, it's, it's like a typical nurse, you know, look, right? But if, if it's out today, sussy. Hey, Mutsumi, did you hear that? This school is really good. 
宇宙人を見たって子もいたよ、really? 身長が3メートルも私は別の人間に擬態するって聞いたよ I don't know why, but I like this girl the most out of the NPC girl trio. She has the coup de day voice. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the cat guy. This is a mask. The fang. It's, 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 it's the cat boy. He did the same shit fucking last episode. He fucking got me. He was cross dressing as Mutsumi. No, it's him. It's the fucking fang guy. No, 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 no. It's the fucking cat dude from the family, right? No, I was like, what the fuck is this for a second? So he. And there was a drone outside the window, too. So our family members are act our siblings are helping us right now. I thought that could have been like the bomb. That doesn't make sense. And and then the big guy walking into school. That must have been that that has to be the big bro. Remember? That's like there's that remember the, the big dude uh with the bucket head that goes that has a soft voice? Well, that's him. There's a drone outside, and then that's with another family member. I forgot which powers is that. And then this is the cat guy. I think that makes sense. So we're getting baited. These are our siblings looking out for each other. <laughs> I like her voice actor though. I, I like this one. Well, it sounds important. I heard that they can mimic other humans. When an upper class woman was on her way to the restroom, this is the fang girl. This this is the fang this this is the cat boy changing outfits. That's why she's thinking it switched, right? I don't know. Okay, the trash can buckethead, 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 that's a sibling, yeah. And then the UFO is the drone. Done setting up the final bomb. Thank you, bomb bar bomber bad sense. <laughs> oh, because it could be poisoned. Oh, because it could be poisoned. Wait, it's poison, so instead she's gonna feed these NPC girls the poison food instead, potentially? No, that's her own bento. She made the food, but I'm like, <laughs> if, I'm like, wait, if you don't eat your own food, but you're feeding your fucking friends, are you poison testing it on them? No, 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 this is her own bento that she's feeding. So yeah, and she has that face there the entire time, just smiling, but she's suffering. <laughs> no, no! Why Look, I trust these friends, but like, you should have not done that, bro. I don't, I, I, I. Why'd you eat that? Oh, yeah. Mezrashi na te. Hora, it's mo. Shouldn't have mentioned that. Daisobu. Yo, yo me no tame ni mo. Taoreru wake ni wa. Looks at me. Yo, Zakura san. Pasaru san mata. Hello. Oh. Uh, what was the role of the big bro at school? He was the vice principal? Was he the principal? Was he a teacher? Vice principal. We haven't met the principal yet, right? Childhood friends always lose. And she was always there for him too. Aww. But now you're protecting me still. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I know this isn't really rom-com centric, but like, we're already married compared to some other fucking rom-coms. Like, Kubo sends, uh, Kubo, you know, won't let me leave me alone. It take fucking like two, like a season or two seasons to fucking hold hands barely. It was indirect hand holding too, bro. With the fucking little sibling in between holding. It was indirect hand holding. That was the resolution of that fucking rom-com, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, we already got- we already got married, bro. BOM! Uh-oh. Yeah, for sure, for sure. The science club, don't worry about the bombs. So... Maybe... This is all just like... I don't know. They seem pretty chill about it, right? It, it didn't make sense how, like, 
big bro with Butler would allow uh, Tayo to protect Mutsumi like this. Like, it, it's like, she's the most important thing. You're going to fucking let this new kid fucking handle the bombs. All right. But the siblings are still here. So either the siblings are here to provide backup just in case, or the siblings themselves are setting up the bombs to test Mutsumi and Tayo in a careful manner. I don't know. There it is. Oh. Wait, so we protected her from the explosion by hiding behind a couch. But the explosion was AoE 360 degrees. But the couch might have been over us. Yes, the couch is completely covering us. It acted as like a bunker. I think that makes sense. That was fast as fuck. How did he do it? How the fuck did he do that? How the bro that's tweeting his in, in, in exact steps is the one that's reading us right now? Unless it's the- there is the- this guy doesn't exist and it's actually our siblings that's doing a little test trial. I don't know which one is true. Either this guy is real and the siblings are here to provide backup, or this guy isn't real and the siblings are basically test trial. I don't know. What? During gym? When? Oh, he was the bomb. Take the shirt off. Throw it out. Take the shirt. Or just jump off the building. Saved by the siblings. It was a fucking test. It was a fucking test, wasn't it? It was a fucking test. He just saved him in time. Bro was willing to jump out of the fucking building to sacrifice himself to protect Mutsumi. And Big Bro's saying, all right, you pass. I think that's what's going on. Big Bro's words here, right? Big Bro's words here. He says something in, 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 in the limousine, right? He, there, there's a frame here. I can't really pinpoint exactly where, but Big Bro's words, right? There was a scene where, where Tayo was thinking about Big Bro's words right over here, right? I forget exactly what he said, but that somehow alluded to Tayo realizing what's going on. Did you really have a job? Who is Tamaya again? Is it one of our family members? The wires are fucking OP. You can't even trust yourself was the line that uh, he gave the big bro. Oh, that makes sense. Because like the bomb was on ourselves, right? You can't trust yourself. I'm like, what does that really mean? Because the bomb was on ourselves. We can't trust ourselves. We got to run out. Mm. Hmm. Really? The only thing we can trust is family. But even if I have to sacrifice myself, I'll never let you die. This is the same guy that tried to fucking stab us in the morning as a wake-up call. I believe him. I believe him. I think that he came off too strong in episode one. It's like, oh, is he trying to kill us? Is he the, a bad antagonist? He's not. He just... Siskon, and he's willing to go out of his way to save us like this. I'm liking Big Bro a lot more this episode. Wait! Now my accident in the intro by calling him a Brocon? I mean, it's only episode two, but like, eventually maybe, you know, Taiyo will be able to rizz up Big Bro and he's somehow enough to like, I don't know, make him a Brocon? No, probably not. He's probably going to continue with the, the running gag of, you know, Leave my sister alone! I can't believe it's you, but... Eh? <laughs> Stop joking. Stop joking. Bomb Bomberson. <laughs> Yeah, just look out. The bucket guy is just Nana, which is so soft spoken every time. He's so big though. The robot has fucking emos like a VTuber model to click a hotkey to express emotions, bro. Okay, so there was a real bomb guy. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. No mercy. Try to kill us, bro. Try to plant a fucking bomb on us. He did plant a bomb on us. Okay, so did he die? Is this a show where shit like this happens, but it's like, oh, Tim, Team Rocket gets away again or flies off again, but it's like, 
Did he actually die here? Is it just all comical, goofy fun? Or did he actually die? Wow! We just want someone blow up in sky! Wow! Bro is live tweeting his fucking death. I'm about to die now. I'm blowing up. Oh no, I got blown up. I'm in the afterlife now. Oh no. I see the pearly gates. Wait, I can't go to heaven? This is bullshit! <laughs> she liked it! <laughs> that's the episode. That's the that's another episode of Mission Yozakura Family. We got to learn more about this is a crazy thing we're watching right now. We got to learn more focus. We got to learn more about basically how these this world works. So there's the upper world and there's the underworld. The underworld are presumably full of spies and people like that. Competition, you know, and stuff like that. Even if you've worked together before, money basically talks, so you can hire people to hit on each other. Not flirting, killing people. Uh, Yosakura family stems back to ancient Japanese days where the head was always normal. Seems to have some kind of hair that looks like Mutsuri's, right? And sometimes there are these like um, other kids that are like super gifted, right? And by having these people guard the head, this is how the Yosakura family has maintained their, their lineage. And now people are trying to kill her. So the mission is pretty much protect Mutsumi from, you know, all costs. Now, we don't know if Mutsumi really is just normal, right? The head is apparently always just like a, like a, not a superhuman, but it'd be cool if she had her own thing. I don't want her to be just like a damsel in distress. And Taiyo, I don't really know what his powers are. Because like, so far he's just a regular human. In the first episode, he showed a lot of courageous efforts. But does he specialize in something? We don't know that just yet, right? He seems to have a heart of a hero. He was able to, you know, clutch the fucking ring. Despite, you know, Onisan's fucking, you know, strings cutting him up. This episode, he ran out of the building to prove his, you know, his, his trust, right? His loyalty. So he has the heart, but what is he good at? We'll get to find out later. It's pretty fun. And there's a lot of moments where I have to really think fucking deep and like, what the fuck is actually going on here? It's, it's, uh, the death also is handled in like a really funny way. Like, I'm not sure if Mr. Bomber Bomberson is actually dead or not because he was fucking live tweeting before he died. Like, it could be just like a little flesh wound. It's just for fun. People just get exploded, but they don't actually die in this anime. I don't fucking know, but it's so far pretty fun. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. Until next time, take care.